Well, good evening, guys. Uh, today is uh, Monday. It's Monday, the 9th of October. Um, you haven't seen me for a few weeks. Um, <laughs> the week before last, I had a really busy week. Didn't manage to get out at all. Um, and as I said to you, if you saw my recent rigs video, the plan was to get out on uh, Sunday. Uh, that was last Sunday. Um, eight days ago. Uh, unfortunately, didn't manage to get out. Um, intended then getting out Monday night. And unfortunately, contracted some hideous vomiting bug. <laughs> to be honest with you, most of last week, I spent throwing up or um, generally feeling terrible at a temperature and just felt absolutely awful. Um, hence, I never came fishing. Um, so that's what I've been doing for the last week, mostly vomiting. Um, but enough of that, we're, we're down here now. Um, my vomiting bug, uh, you could probably just about hear, has turned into a bit of a cold, <laughs> bizarrely. Um, but uh, I feel a lot better. Um, not 100%, but nearly there. So uh, couldn't resist getting out. It's a beautiful evening. Not sure uh, <laughs> it's particularly beautiful for fishing, but it's a lovely evening to be sat here, as you see. You know, October, I'm sat in my uh, t-shirt. It's uh, it's now getting on for six o'clock. A uh, bit of a race to get down here after work. Don't get home till about five, ran in, got changed, grabbed all the stuff, legged it down here. Um, got some bait in the water. Um, I'm fishing, as I tend to do here, I'm fishing the just on the edge of the uh, fast water. I should mention we're in the barbel swim again. Um, not we actually, me, um, Anastasia's not here this evening, um, she's got other things to do. Fishing a little bit further out because the river's fairly low, I had a look on the um, on the river level uh, website earlier on at work, earlier on today, and it's uh, it's fining down, uh, we haven't had any rain really, uh, whilst I've been, out, haven't been able to get out, so uh, the river's just slowly running off, um, so it's getting back down to sort of painful levels. Well, there is there is a tinge of colour there still, so um, so that's good. Um, and the weather set fair all week as well. Uh, I had a look at the weather forecast this morning, and they forecast there might be a few showers on Wednesday. But apart from that, we set fair all week, um, which you know is not ideal. Could do with a bit of water in the river, but um, you know you can't have everything. The weather's mild. It's going to be mild all week. I think I'm not going to get out at, after tonight. I'm not going to be able to get out till. Friday I would think will be the next trip um, so if we don't have anything tonight this will be a very short catch-up <laughs> video <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully we'll have something anyway you know we at least have some bream out of something uh, I've got a variety of baits with me as usual started off with one rod on the krill uh, with paste wrapped boilie um, and one rod on TG active um, as I said fishing this just the near edge of the flow only maybe one rod length out that's all um, so six foot past the edge of the reeds you can see there that, that's all not not very far at all just down downstream which is that way so we'll see how we get on um, if we don't do any good um, I've bought some halibut pellets with me I've got uh, maggots as well which you can always fall back to once it gets a little bit darker cause to be honest, I'm just going to get smashed up by small fish at the moment, so there's no point in fishing maggots just yet until it gets a little bit darker. Um, I've got some various other sort of boilies and stuff I can I can switch and switch around to, but we'll we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. But for now, I'm going to sit back, be quiet, because I'm fishing so close in. Um, and fingers crossed, uh, can have something out for first first time fishing for two weeks. As you'll have seen, um, I use the bait dropper to get the bait out. I mean, it's only perhaps four foot deep where I'm fishing, something like that. But uh, I use the bait dropper just to get all the bait right down to the bottom. 
Um, I'm fishing open end feeders as well. So that's going to be putting some feed in, although I'm not going to cast too often. Uh, it's just, uh, I've got just a sandwich with some actual broken boilies in the middle of the boilies on the each rod that I'm fishing, the appropriate boilie. Um, trying out this new census ground bait, the uh, Ali's. Um, got in at our local tackle shop at Scrooby's in Stratford. Uh, it's got some new census barbel feeder stuff in. I think it's minced up halibut pellets and hemp. Um, so that will go along with the, the loose feed I've been putting in. Uh, put um, half a tin of hemp in um, and various sizes halibut pellets, some tens, sixes, and some fours and some TG active pellets. Um, again, just a couple of bait dropperfuls of each. You know, I'm not trying to uh, trying to feed the fish. I'm just trying to get a bite, really. So um, hopefully we'll do all right. Well, guys, we're, uh, we're properly starting to lose the light now. It's, uh, it's just gone 6.30. Getting some taps and some knocks on the tips, which is, uh, which is really good news. Nothing, uh, nothing worth striking at yet, though, unfortunately. But uh, definitely some fish there. Well guys, uh, I'm sure as you've gathered, uh, I haven't had any fish tonight. Um, found a few bites and stuff, but uh, nothing worth striking at. Um, I think it's probably bream. I think a shoal of bream moved in because I had bites for on and off for maybe an hour. And it all went really, really quiet. Um, it's just eight o'clock now. As I said to you <laughs> earlier on, uh, not feeling 100% yet. So I'm gonna knock it on the head, I think. Um, it's just started spitting with rain as well. <laughs> so I think I've timed that just about right. Uh, I've had the thermometer in the water. It's actually gone down. Uh, I've been, a, I should say, I haven't been monitoring it that much this week. But since last weekend, um, last Sunday, it's gone down nearly two degrees. I mean, that might explain why things are a bit quiet this evening. Uh, it was cold last night as well, so that might explain things. But I came more in hope than uh, expectation, you know. Um, had a free evening and was feeling uh, a lot better so came down conditions river conditions weren't ideal but uh, you know you can only do what you can do can't you so anyway I had a nice evening um, sat here listening to goodness only knows what crashing about on the other side sounded like an elephant um, uh, but uh, it's got me out of the house got me on the bank um, and yeah, you know, not this video up because I just wanted to touch base with everyone, tell everyone what's been going on. Um, as I said, I think we'll be out Friday evening, uh, maybe Thursday, but uh, Friday if not. May come down here, conditions dependent. Um, also, I may go to the stretch above the weir uh, where I fished, I've been bream fishing earlier on in the season. Um, fancy going up there, perhaps catch some. Or try and catch some nice roach and, and uh, perch as uh, autumn progresses so that, that's maybe the plan in a few weeks time um, I think for now yeah I'm not sure it's all dependent on the weather isn't it um, I may come down here if conditions are looking barbly if not I'll go up there maybe catch some bream uh, do a bit of pre-baiting I'll just keep an eye on the weather forecast see how things are anyway apologies that there weren't any fish um, but I did just want to touch base with everyone and just let you know what's been going on and why you haven't heard anything from me um, so I thought I'd knock this up um, just to keep you all in the picture anyway 
Thanks for watching. Um, tight lines, enjoy your own angling, and I will see you on Friday.